So in less than 10 hours, I am about to embark on one of the biggest adventures that I've ever planned for. And I'm kind of in disbelief that this is the moment where this huge thing that I've been dreaming about and trying to figure out how to fit into my life for at least my entire adult life has finally come to fruition and is about to happen. So leading up to this moment, I have definitely tried to make space to see the people who mean the most to me. So I've traveled to the University of Michigan to visit my little brother. I've also spent time with my best friend that lives in Los Angeles and my best friends from my childhood. But now I need to finish packing and get ready for tomorrow. So for you all who have no idea what is going on, today is the day that Eric and I move to Latin America. And when we get there, we will be spending eight months living in two different countries so I can start and hopefully finish my dissertation field work and finally graduate. But for now, I'm gonna get ready to board. I know I said earlier that I had time to find family and see all of my friends, but actually there was one friend that I needed to see and we are conveniently landing in the exact place that she lives. I think it's all checked that you're so cute.
Okay, so we finally made it to our gate and we are about six minutes away from starting to board. And thus we will begin moving towards our first stop in Latin America, a nine plus hour journey to Sao Paulo, Brazil. Just another day in the universe. Universe. Know what it is. Tell the police to put down a gun. I'ma come through unarmed, living amongst them. Wonder if the narrative shift by 2021. The sun getting closer, gets it shining on us. Mad at the uprising when you riot on us. On the daily, terrorizing our mother, sisters, and babies. It's been occurring for longer than as of lately. Calling the kitties lazy when really the bully is crazy. Look around and see the simulation of this nation. And all the time wasted on misdirected patience. The bright side want to free the boys and girls from cages. We know we're wearing a mask, just don't want to face it surgical songs the lyrics hit the spirit like lasik companies providing care just the kind that is basic i can shock like taser my enemies if they racist funny thing this is a marathon boy we ain't racing but we fly above we just fly above we just fly above we gonna fly above but we fly above we just fly above we gonna fly above <laughs> we did. Beyond just having a love for travel and getting to experience this new adventure in a new country and a new continent with the love of my life, this trip is really the culminating moment of all of the hard work and study that I put in not just as a graduate student, but as a young 18 year old starting college with one question on her heart. And now, I've just gotten off a plane, literally minutes from stepping into the place that I've wanted to be for all of these years, and I can't help but feel excited.